Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these because my days are so unstructured for the past year that it's just hard to do anything like this. And I've just been eating so randomly. Um, I have, there's no real theme or point to today's video, but I haven't done one of these in a while. And I really wasn't doing a lot of cooking and now I'm starting to cook again. So I figured I would show you what I'm eating. I'm not following, I'm not like, trying to lose weight or trying to do anything. I'm just trying to cook my own meals and eat some vegetables. That is the only goal. Um, so starting my day with a coffee. Mm. First sip, um, that's an espresso with a little bit of the caramel premier protein in here. And I did chug as much as I could of a glass of water. I hate water in the morning. I know everyone's like warm lemon water, ginger and turmeric and moon dust and stuff. Um, I just chug a plain glass of water because I should, um, and I don't enjoy it. So I just chug it, because water in the morning. Anyways, I'm still uh, sort of waiting till 12 to eat, depends on the day. Um, I've got a bunch of work to do, so I'm gonna start in on that coffee, and then um, I'll come back to you in a couple of hours. A little bit of a later start to the day, too. It's actually nine o'clock, so um, it's pretty late for me. But yeah, I will see you for lunch. Okay, I just finished doing some filming and a little bit of work. It is now 11.15. I'm gonna have a tea while I edit in my cat mug with my freaking cat. Um, I'm having a Tetley tea. Normally I'll have peppermint tea. I accidentally bought green tea with mint, which I like, but uh, it has caffeine in it. So generally I like to have caffeine free tea, but I have it anyway. So I'm gonna have this now and I will have lunch in about an hour. Okay, it is now time for lunch. This is what I had for lunch yesterday that inspired me to film a What I Eat Today again, cause I was like, this is delicious. So I'm having kind of chicken lettuce wraps. It's something that I would often get at a restaurant and I was making fresh summer rolls for lunch the past couple of days. So I had similar ingredients. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm using uh, boneless skinless chicken thighs. I've talked about this before, but a great alternative to chicken breast, honestly, especially if you're meal prepping chicken thighs, well worth it. So I'm just going to cut those up quite small. I just was defrosting them this morning. For my veg that's going to go in the pan with the chicken, I have some cut up sweet peppers here and then this is kind of a weird color. I think it's a shallot. It's leftover from HelloFresh. <laughs> um, I got a cut up baby carrot, cilantro, peanuts, and then on the actual chicken. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this chicken up, put it in a pan, onion or whatever it is, pepper. Believe it or not, this is a little bit of white pepper, a little bit of Chinese five spice, like tiny, tiny bits of this. Then right at the end, I'm going to add in some hoisin, a little bit of soy and sriracha. This is something you could definitely cook a bunch of the chicken and keep it in the fridge. Then I'm just gonna put it in on these um, romaine hearts, I think. Can you eat romaine lettuce? I've been eating it all week and I've survived. I'd rather like butter lettuce or a, a different one, but this was what I had in grocery delivery. So I'm gonna cook this up and I will show you the finished product. Oh, and I'm gonna put it some sesame seeds on top too. So here is the finished product. My leaves are a little bit small, so I'll probably end up using the, using a fork with this. Uh, you could put this on rice, you could put it on noodles. I'm putting it in the lettuce wrap. Just makes it feel a little bit lighter because uh, I definitely tend to eat more in the evenings. So um, I try to keep it a little bit lighter during the day, depending on, especially on a day that I'm busy. So yeah, this is it. So delicious, mm, can't wait. Uh, it is, it's almost three o'clock. I have a meeting at three, so I'm just having some grapes and cheese. I don't know if that's weird, but tastes great. In my opinion, also, fun fact, uh, Loblaws has the best grapes. Like, this is rock hard. Okay, it is time for a snack. Something random I've never made before. The base of it are these um, Scandinavian fiber crisp breads. I got these from Low Carb Canada. They taste horrible. You need to put something on them. They taste very healthy. But uh, on it, I have some baba ganoush, which is uh, roasted eggplant. It's like garlicky and so good. Then I put just a slice of, what is this, turkey on each of them. Thinly sliced cucumber. And then I've got these. I went to the grocery store. So fancy. Spicy mustard medley. This is a really fancy snack. I'm showing off because you guys are here. 
I've never eaten anything like this in my life. <laughs> And this is what I eat in a day, lol. Um, but I am trying to eat better and it's great to have you guys around. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna have for a snack. I'm also having some sparkling water, which I put this in, I got from Low Carb Canada and I'm pretty sure I hate them, but I'm not sure yet. So anyways, I've gotta go do like a little interview now. I'm gonna have this as a snack, edit, and then I'll have dinner in a little bit. We making pizza. Okay, because I'm a child, I'm having mini pizzas for dinner. <laughs> it kinda reminds me of the Lunchable pizzas. Remember that? And they were cold, oh my God. Okay, so for my base, I have the Joseph's Pita Bread. I get this from Low Carb Canada, 60 calories each. Then on the base, I just have like, you know, classic pizza sauce. This is shredded mozzarella cheese. I almost never buy the pre-shredded, but I did this time because I just cannot be bothered. Pineapple chunks and just some regular pepperoni. Sometimes I get turkey pepperoni, but I couldn't find it. I'm going to pop these in the air fryer now. 350 for maybe four minutes. Uh, I'll see how they look when they come out. It's a little bit dark here, but here are the pizzas. Oh my God, they look so good. Um, super pumped on that. That was about four minutes in the air fryer, five. And I have a Coke Zero. Dip it in a little ranch, because that feels right. And then it was my birthday the other day and I'm gonna have the rest of this salted caramel cupcake. It's from somewhere here called Delish, really good. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I ate in a day, kind of a random day of food, but a delicious day. I should also say that I didn't get to eat the second cracker with the turkey on it because Rue uh, ripped it off my desk and got her cat mouth all over it. So only got to have one of those. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jean YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.